small, humble, furry mammal that is now on big demand, rabbit, once known as wild animal but now highly domesticated. Ugandans are now shifting from the common non-domestic animals to this small animal. The domestication is a result of big returns. Jessica Nantale rears rabbit in Nibulova, few kilometers from Kampala city center. She rears hundreds of them. Rabbit rearing is picking up these days because of, a, of, the, of the nature that people are adopting too of health eating habits. Now many people are learning that rabbit meat is really good for their bodies. It's, be, it's actually one of the best meat they can, they can have for their bodies. And being that the times are changing, people are turning to healthy eating more than anything else. Rabbits take an average of six to seven months to mature, and at that age, they are able to breed. A female rabbit will be able to deliver a litter a month after mating. They are not really labor intensive. What you do is uh, you, just have to, you just have to manage your time well. In the morning, do the cleaning. Clean everything, the, 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 the bottles, the feeders, you clean them in the morning, you clean the sheets, you clean the place. Then you feed them at least once every afternoon. And during the day you can just put there some greens for them to chew on. Rabbits don't need your help after bath. You only need to give them food and water. Feed them on greens and manufactured supplements. Supplements help them to keep healthy and fat. A lot of greens. And then you also have to do things like, you can mix your own feeds also using maize bran and other feeds and other, and other ingredients on market. It is recommended to check on your rabbits every morning. This helps you find out when sick. Feed them more often. Feel your rabbits every morning. When you're doing your work every day, pass through every cage, touch each rabbit, know how it's feeling. Because when it's sick, that's how you know it's sick. You, recon you, you recognize that it's sick from its poop. And also, it's, uh, sometimes it gets skinny, sometimes it fails to eat, sometimes it's just dull. It's not the normal, the normal charming one you, that, that, uh, that you always find in a cage. Construction cost for rabbit cages is the most expensive element in rabbit rearing. Yes, for construction of the houses, there are costs involved, and I think that's the hardest part that farmers are really getting, uh, that, 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 that scares people away, because you have to do the mesh, you have to do the, 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 the labor for someone who's going to, to construct the cage for you. And sometimes we don't have quality, quality mesh around in Uganda to do, the, to do the, rabbit, to the rabbit cages. Market for rabbits is expanding, with the higher learning institutions being the first market as they use them for research. I sell my rabbits at 40,000 each rabbit. And I mostly sell to individual consumers, and then these people are going to, and then some others who take in bulk take these rabbits also. They have, they have, they have, there are people who are supplying places I really don't know, but they come here and they take the rabbits and do supply. You must be a clean farmer to keep rabbits. They need a clean environment as this prevents 80% of the bacterial diseases, protozoa, and worms. They produce monthly, thus keeping your cycle for making money active throughout the year. Kenneth Buire, WBS Smart Farming. You never know.